Let's use the Google Chrome validator to make sure our code is, is really good. The first thing I'll do is open up Google Chrome. and drag my file into the browser. Now I also want to be able to edit this file so I can fix my changes. So I'm going to right mouse click on the file and I can either edit with notepad right here or I can say open with and then choose one of these. So you see notepad is here as well as in here. I'm just going to pick my first choice and there's my editor and then I'll line these up. Now each time I go back and forth between these two I can make a change here and then when I get to the browser I'll do control R for refresh and that will refresh my page. But let's validate the page. So I'll click on my validator and it says it can't validate it here. The reason is is because our file is on our local system and the validator can't access our local system for security reasons. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the file upload interface. We're going to choose a file and that's going to be our first page and then we'll tell it to check it. And you can see that our we, we were successful although we have one warning. So let's scroll down here and see what that warning is. And basically the warning right here is, says HTML5 is still experimental. So they haven't finished with the specification yet, so they can't make a validator that's completely accurate because they don't know what the rules are going to be. Now, let's go and make a mistake. One of the common things that happens is people try to put a, a list inside of a paragraph. And the reason this doesn't work is because a paragraph is a block type of code and an unordered list or an ordered list is also a block. So you can't put a block inside of a block because the browser wants to keep them on separate lines or side by side. But you can't put one inside of another. So we're going to make that change. We're putting the, the unordered list in a paragraph. We're going to save it with Control S over to our browser and we'll check our browser first do a control R and you'll see that indeed it works fine but if we validate it you're going to see that we have errors Now the error is kind of strange. It says no element, p element in the scope, but a p n tag c. So you're going to find out that these errors aren't really clear, but this will tell you probably that you have a block inside of a block, which is what we have here. And you can see it's on line 23, so you can kind of zero in. It's either going to be on the line that it says or before it. It's not going to get afterwards. So we can see that we can't do that. So we'll get rid of our p tags, do a control s, oh, I'm going to have to go back a page, choose the file, check it, and you can see it's good again. Now another thing that might happen is somebody will put a, uh, leave off the stop tag. So let's see if it catches that or not. Remember the rule every start tag should have a stop tag. So here's the start part, here's the stop part. Now on the double tag that's easy. So here's the start tag and the stop tag. But here on line 25 we're just going to take away that stop tag and see if the validator catches that. So I'll go back, choose my file, and you can see that HTML says that that's valid. Now, in the old days of XHTML, that was an error. Well, let's take away an H, H, our stop H1.
and it found an error. And again, the error messages are kind of strange. The element on order of list is not allowed as a child element of H1. So what it's what's the validator is seeing is H1 is trying to include a UL and a P and another P. It says it can't do that. Well, the simple form of what that's saying is that we left off our stop tag. Well, let me show you what that page looks like with the H1 missing. And you see everything is an H1. So if we go back in and put in our tell when to stop our H1, go back to our page, do a refresh, and do a validate. You can see that we have a valid document. So that's using the W3C Markup Validation Service on your own files on your operating system.